Jeff featured us in highlights, so. <laughs> I know, you could have gone on a few more rounds, right? You were pretty good at that for a accounting program. You were a jokey guy, right? I didn't say that. Anyway, hello. Hey. I have to tell you, I, have a, I picked up a little bit of a flu bug before I left North oh. uh, Carolina. And so, this is me on drugs. This is it. Oh. This is your brain. It's Dick Will. It's not that great. You know what I mean? I was on it yesterday, so I know. It's a fun trip. Uh, <laughs> who are these people in front? I know. How about that? Who are these people in front? We know those girls. I know. I know, I know you don't, but I, I do know them. Fanny, Petulance, and Cat. Very good. You're good on Dick Will. <laughs> Do I have the flu now? <laughs> I was sick when I got here too. Everybody's sick. I'm coming on the airplane here. The, uh, the uh, attendants uh, acts right in my face. I mean, I'm, I'm, Do you like water or coffee? <laughs> oh, no. oh, I mean, everybody else will think about it. Surround me, see it too easy. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful life. <laughs> Happy to be here. Happy to talk about what do you want to talk about? I want to, I want to say the panel is, is called the Tron panel, and, and he's really Tron, you know? So it's really, it's really in capital letters, T-R-O-N panel, and then down here it says C-R-O-M. The little character I The Tron panel. I don't know about Tron, but... I like that, but the, the Tron pro. Tron pro. It's Tron It's Tron pro. You know, we know each other to go back, back that far. Uh, uh, I know Peter and I have talked about it, but we came out to uh, uh, Hollywood around the same year, around seven, 1973, around there. And we're well, great. Great. I, I had failed to, to realize that he was on also on Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Yes! yes. yes. And all these guys go, we didn't work together on that, and we didn't work together on Tron, really. I know, we didn't I, I saw you in passing. By the way, uh, in the tights, back in the day, Oh, I could wear those tights, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> we I, both could work those tights. <laughs> Something else. I always say those tights are made for, you know, uh, Eastern European gymnastic stars, girls, you know, because not even Paul and can wear them. And Bruce got away with it pretty good, but it's really not my luck. You know, I saw them recently. They're in a traveling exhibition in Disney Archives, it's called. Uh, it was at the Reagan Library in LA, outside of LA. And I saw it, and Mine apparently the, the only remaining costume. We had about we had a few of them because we had to change them out if you got too sweaty. Um, and I saw it. It's like they shrunk down. I said, I'm looking at them. How did I ever fit in that thing? I know they're like span they weren't really spandex. It was something like that, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty clean. Yeah. But they they told me they found my wardrobe in a corner on the floor been there for 30 years, and it was kind of yellow and dirty, so they did what they could to uh, restore it, and uh, uh, what a boring story that is. Um, <laughs> now, Bruce, do you know this story about, um, I don't know, when you started working on the movie, because we didn't work it except the same week, right? I think, I think, yeah, you were probably starting first, didn't you? Yeah. You and Jeff? That's right. Now, we, we went... Uh, you know, it was kind of a unique show for Disney. At that point, Disney was still pretty old style, right? I mean, there was still very much so. Yeah. And, and we had traditional lunches where they'd give us a lunch break and we went to the commissary and we'd sit with the animators. And that lasted about, I think, about two days. Yeah. We would wear our little white tights and they were very disturbed by, you know, <laughs> you can't really get through your, your, your seafood salad if I'm sitting next to you in white tights. It's hard. So it's basically, no, it's not hard, but. <laughs> anyway, they started serving lunch on the set. That's how that came about. Yeah, or we were told to wear bathrobes to over our wardrobe. Because it's so hard to get in and out of those things, too, by the way. Yeah. You couldn't just peel this tight down at the end of the day. It was like getting somebody off pull the skin off. Um, but it was our naked bottoms that were basically showing, and our <clears throat> other private parts uh, were kind of very visible, and there were a lot of these uh, elderly uh, secretaries and having their lunch break, and they're all having hot flashes all over the place. <laughs> uh, these young 
tight butts walking around, you know. Was, uh, it was 1982, you know. So, you know. But they did eventually just say, don't come anymore. Okay? Just don't come. <laughs> it's really distasteful. Don't show and up you know very much, you know. And they said, so, but Peter, we, we might have also smelled a little bit. You think we caught that part? I don't know. I don't want to contemplate that. The ring game smell, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you were wonderful. I mean, you died well. <laughs> and, and and you saw how much how how, how much I was in uh, Tron Legacy, right? No, no, that's okay. I know. You're it's not that much. They can't take Tron away from you. Yes, they could. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can. They did. Yes, yes. They changed his name to Rinsler. He's now a bad guy. Uh, um, Clue's uh, henchman. Who knew that goofy character Clue would become this big evil dictator on the grid and uh, enslave Tron, become this um, Rinsley? I did that his voice, uh, some wonderful, very strong, athletic, stunt man, big young chap, and me. <laughs> but uh, that was it. I was only in the very one scene in the beginning, two scenes in the beginning. So, Peter, I wanted to publicly, uh, um, you know, because I know you were upset. You wanted to be in it. Didn't you want Danny to be in it? Danny Schwartz was in it. You wanted to come back. I wanted to be in it. I had the whole you know, crew back. That had been, and who knows, that may all happen. I don't know. They never think that way. You know, for my money, you could put Wanda Malar in and draw it. I don't think that way. No, they don't. Then your hair would have worked perfectly. Yeah. That's all I see. Uh, How did you get cast in the original Tron? Did you just the regular process, or the... Who was it? Pam Paula Froney? Was the casting agent? And they just called and she was casting in... Uh, oh God, The Gambler. I was it? 1980. So we started, we took Tron in 81 or 82, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, uh, I think, I don't know, for some reason, but I was doing a Western, and, and I heard about, uh, I was reading a script sitting out on a horse in the middle of the Arizona desert because I don't, I don't understand this crap at all. What is this? <laughs> and I, I waited to get back to the hotel and we didn't have uh, cell phones to immediately call someone from in the middle of nowhere. And I said, uh, you know what, I don't understand it. I called my agent and I said, uh, can we not deal with this until I get back? I got another week on location, I'll be back from LA. And I said, I really, I think we should turn it down. And I think it's, who the hell was I to turn down? A feature. What did you and know? Walt Disney. What did that mean? What did we know? We didn't know him. It was young and cocky and feeling so <laughs> So anyway, uh, that's basically what happened. Then when I went back, got back to LA, and then my agent was fueling me. What do you mean? You know, he's ripping me a new one. And uh, he said uh, they'd like to meet you. And then when I found it, it was basically because Jeff Bridges was doing it. I mean, Jeff was, a, you know, somebody that was really happy, and he'd had some... But he wasn't, already he wasn't a big, big star. No, but I remember the last picture show, I remember a number of really good movies that he was in. He did that, uh, he was doing, right before Tron, that, that enormous bomb that you know, what was that called? Heaven's Gate? Heaven's Gate, yeah. He just finished Heaven's Gate. Yes, yes. So, but anyway, I, I was, was aware the of these people, I said, my God, and he's doing it, and he was signed. Uh, this guy, Peter Drissick, was signed, and um, I said, I don't know who he is, but, uh, <laughs> but he sounds like a good guy. He sounds like a good guy, I said, no. Anyway, uh, that was it. I, then they showed me some footage that they had done, and I said, I auditioned for Star Wars. I didn't get that. So I looked at this, and I said, oh, it's kind of got a Star Wars dude. I know it's not on stage. I said, I better say yes. So I actually got it. Um, I didn't have to audition for it. I actually was the, but I think there were like several big people that turned it down. There's an interesting story. We just lost one of the, a, a wonderful international star. He was certainly gigantic in the 1960s, and, uh, named Peter O'Toole. You know who that is? Oh yeah. He just passed away. God love him. At 81, he probably lived 15 lifetimes in one. Uh, but do you know that he actually? Um, Steven Lisberger told me he wanted to play Tron. Oh, no. Now, think about it. Think about it. Well, no. Originally, that's what they, he, he was, 
he came in to read for that or to meet with them about that. And in the very middle of the meeting, he said, no, no, I want to play trial. And he got up on the table in front of Stephen Whisper. He was this, this little kid from Boston was given his chance to make this big film. And, and he's got Academy Award winner Lawrence of Arabia standing before him, acting out his movements. This is how I throw the disc. And, you know, he's a fantastic British actor. I mean, you know, and he, really fantastic. Yeah, I mean, he's a great, great star. And I just think it's the most ludicrous time we He changed his mind. I'm not going to be a star. I'm going to be drawn. Of course. He was a real movie star. He was. Yes, he was. And um, they didn't know how to pray it to him. And David came right in and got it. And David was one. The, the final thing was put on the tights. You know, once, once they saw Bruce in tights, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was drunk. Buns and steel. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Can we answer any questions? Do you have yeah, any questions? Yeah, why don't you guys ask questions?